There's a guy on the internet named Louis Rossman, and he oftentimes talks about right to repair, and uh, he does uh, fixing of uh, mostly Apple laptops and whatever, but he's uh, often talking about how you can't get the smallest parts to repair something, and you may say, yeah, is that why you have a camera in front of us? And that's the answer is yes. Uh, these are uh, one of the two, this is one of the two cameras that I use to make videos. It's uh, a Lumix GX8. Uh, I, I got the recommendation from another channel, which is really excellent, a guy named Marcus Pix, who does practical photography. Um, yeah, he doesn't tell you to go out and buy the most expensive stuff. He gives you really practical advice on, on uh, how to do photography, video, traveling, photography, all that stuff. So, uh, getting off the topic here. So why do I have this out here? It's because a very small part went bad and of course they don't sell it. I can't find, uh, I just got a note from Panasonic today saying, sorry, we don't sell that. Now you see on the bottom here, there's this big hole. Normally that has a rubber plug in it that looks like that. It's hard to see with all that black there, but it looks like that. And it's supposed to have a little tail on it, like, that and it goes and it plugs that hole and there's a little thing inside there that keeps it so it doesn't like fall off uh, so you can pull it out of there um, what that hole is for is for like a ac adapter or whatever and yeah so you don't have to run battery or if you're going to do like a long time lapse you can just uh, plug it in the wall and then the camera will operate okay so um, as you might guess this, this uh, little part is just a soft plastic it's too bad it's not rubber it would have lasted a lot longer but what did that cost them to make you know 15 cents a quarter something like that but of course you can't buy it the camera is a fifteen hundred dollar camera and yeah so now i can get water dust and whatever through this opening because of the uh you know and availability of a, of a very simple part and frankly it would be very easy to fix because, can you see that? Yes, there are two screws, one right there, one right there. This little cover comes off. That little tail slides up in there. It hooks on something so it doesn't come out. And yeah, you can pop this little door, this little opening uh, in the door uh, out of there, put it, run your cord in there and your uh, battery adapter uh, goes in there and then you close it and yeah, you can run it like that. And then when you're done, you put the plug back so that it's dust and, and water resistant. So, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the other thing. Okay. So, um, having said that, I'm not about to, you know, just toss this away or give up on it. I thought about just putting a visa duct tape over there, but that's not my style. So what I've done is I've spent most of the day with a 3d printer and, um, instead of having a plug that pulls from the outside, I've just got this plug which is, let's see if I can get this close enough to see and focus for me, please. Uh, focus. You're not going to do it, are you? No, but you can see it's a square and then a circle on top. Uh, and what that will do is go in here and there's a square part around the hole like that. And it will stay in there because the door is closed. Um, and it does let me show you let's see i have to orient it right like that it pops in there it's a pretty good fit as it is but i plan to put some foam on the back of here so that when it shuts it'll press it against the inside of the camera and uh, keep it in place regardless of just not the the press fit it'll the foam will help uh, act like a spring and hold it there so yeah as you can see it doesn't look too terrible uh it works it plugs that hole and i i don't know you know it's sad that uh panasonic doesn't uh, supply the part for this camera which is only uh, five or six years old now so i will put the information on how to print that in case you know somebody that has panasonic uh, dmc gx8 and they need to uh, plug that hole and put it down in the description and I'll post it online on something like Thingiverse or one of those places.
Okay, well that was it for this little rant about right to repair and uh, what I did to take care of the problem with this camera. Okay, hope you found that useful and interesting in your, in your photographic or uh, right to repair endeavors.